Hey everyone, the name is Chris Barocci, welcome to Guitar Tweaks. Today, I want to talk about the easiest way of tweaking your guitar tone. It's also the most, well, underestimated and even ignored tweak, even though it's the cheapest one as well. And I'm also guilty in that, in a way. <laughs> I'm talking about strings and string types. I'm talking about the core wire of the wound strings. There are two options, the hex core strings, which are the more modern ones, and round core strings. I want to talk about the pros and cons of both and, well, show you how massively they change the way your guitar sounds and most importantly, feels. We pay a lot of attention to comparing overdrives and fuzzes and delays and amps and pickups and even capacitors and I don't know if a pedal is true bypass or buffer bypass, which is all important, of course, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to strings, we tend to say, oh, yeah, whatever, <laughs> I just use what everyone else uses or, well, I don't know, I just take the cheapest one. We miss out a lot if we don't pay attention to the strings and don't tweak the guitar with the right strings for the job. Today I'll compare these three strings. Uh, this is the industry standard, the regular Slinky 1046, um, and I have two DR strings which are kindly provided by DR Strings, because uh, I really wanted to do this comparison and, and show it to you guys as well. These are the nickel plated steel round core strings, the tight fits, and these are the pure nickel round core strings, um, which are called pure blues. I want to see how they compare, how they feel, and obviously how they sound in the room and through an amp. Before we dig deeper into this whole thing, a quick reminder, please check out the description box under the video for additional infos, my rig, what I'm using today, uh, timestamps and all those things, gear links, etc. And of course, if you enjoy these videos, hit thumbs up and, um, and subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot. So before we get into the first comparison round, uh, let me just walk you through the, the situation here. <laughs> so the modern standard string type is the hex core string, which means that the wound strings on an electric guitar mostly is gonna be the EAD strings, sometimes the G as well, if it's a thicker gauge. On basses, all the strings and uh, on acoustic guitars, mainly the EAD and the G. Uh, these strings will have a hexagonal core and then you have the, the wire wound around it, right? That has benefits, but there's also a very good reason for uh, string makers, string manufacturers to go for that kind of string type. And then the original strings that were developed as like the first guitar strings and bass strings had a round core, which means that pretty much like your plain strings, there is a round core wire and then you have the, um, the other wire, the thinner wire wound around it. Why did manufacturers go from round core to hex core? Why did they even bother changing the manufacturing process? Well, there's a, a really simple uh, reason for that, which is it's much faster and easier and for that reason cheaper to produce hex core strings than round core strings. So it's a no it's a no-brainer why wouldn't they go for hex core strings right they can produce much faster it's just a, an easier and more streamlined process so they will say yes to it obviously that's the uh, the more efficient way of making strings <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, let's talk about the objective differences. This is not like, what do I prefer or what do you prefer? It's just facts. Round core strings last longer than normal hex core strings. Why? Because there's no air between the wound wire and the core wire. It's uh, pretty logical. If you have a round surface and you wind another uh, wire on it, uh, you just don't have any air between. And on a hex core string, you will have these little flat surfaces of the core wire where, well, it's just air. And as soon as you have more air around the, uh, the wound string and inside between the core and the wound wire, uh, well, oxidation, don't need to explain that, I guess. Then the second objective difference, and this is a big one, uh, round core strings are way more bendable than, than hex core. They are, they are just less stiff. And if you, if you like uh, vibrato and bendings on the first strings, well, the fourth, fifth, and sixth strings, um, this is a big difference. Like the whole set feels, well, just smoother compared to hex core. Um, even though the, the plain strings are well the same, well, or pretty much the same, uh, just the whole feel of the guitar is smoother and less, you feel like it's less of a fight, which is uh, definitely noticeable. It's not like, yeah, maybe, hmm, might be placebo, I'm not sure. As soon as you, you try round core strings, you will say like, whoa, okay. I don't know why, but the whole thing feels more ergonomic and just yeah less of a struggle there's one more very important thing um if you if you use hex core strings you will have more snap like the wound strings will have a bit more attack and that's more of the modern sound that's something that you would consider cool if you're using like a lot of gain and you want a lot of notes separation etc so that's that's something that's definitely uh, beneficial uh, and uh, you can get all kinds of hex core strings, of course, like the, the big O's, like the Dario and Ernie Ball and all that, but also DR strings makes um, hex core strings and so many other brands. Like that's like 99% of the strings you will see <laughs> are gonna be hex core. So you have a lot of options there, obviously. And then let's talk about the subjective differences. Um, I don't want to influence you too much. I can only say what, like how I feel about these string types, uh, but it comes down to your preferences, the type of music you play, the type of guitar you have, etc. I mainly use single chord loaded guitars or P9 loaded guitars. I also use humbuckers and I love them, but I will go for low output dynamic humbuckers that have a very open sound because that's just something that speaks to me. So for a player like this, I don't feel like I need even more attack coming from the strings, 
which is a side effect or like the uh, main character of a hex core string. Um, I don't mind having a little bit more of a smooth experience and a little less node attack because it's still very clear. You, don't get me wrong, you don't lose articulation or anything. You can still chug on round core strings. <laughs> Even though I prefer 10 to 46 gauge strings because that just feels right, like the gauge feels right. Uh, I don't mind a little less tension uh, on the wound strings because I I tend to bend a lot and do like little subtle things and it just feels more natural with round core. So I do prefer that feel of it. Uh, also, if you bend a round core string, it doesn't feel like it's stiff right away. It feels way more linear. Like when you bend up a whole note on the second or third fret of the E string, um, it doesn't feel like I start bending and it's already like, oh, uh oh, <laughs> it feels like, okay, smooth. Okay, less smooth. Right, uh, when you arrive to like a, a full note, it feels like, okay, okay, now it's stiff. It just feels more, well, linear. And on the other hand, if you if you don't want that, you don't really bend the, uh, the wound strings and, don't even want to get close to pushing them out of tune because I don't know, you riff a lot and you just want them as stiff as they can be, then probably hex core is, well, is more of a modern and just a more fitting tool for that job. I wasn't thinking about this for quite a while. And then, uh, I don't know, the other day I was like, wait a second, what were standard strings when all of our iconic amplifiers were developed? If you think about all the uh, Fender Tweed amps, Vox, even the Blackface Fender amps, the first Marshalls, etc., round core strings were standard back then. Right? I'm not even sure exactly when this big change with hex core came. I think it was around the 70s and from the 80s it was like marketed that way. Like these are the better strings, the more modern strings. Uh, but in the 50s and in the 60s, most probably every single guitar had round core strings. And if you think about it, all of these amps, if you ever cranked a Super Reverb, if you ever cranked a JTM or a Vox or whatever, these amps have such a punchy, dynamic tone. It's insane. I would not want to make that tone even more punchy with hex core strings. <laughs> in the comments below what kind of strings you prefer, gauge, material, and core type. I think you should definitely uh, experiment with uh, round core strings if you haven't done that already. Um, it's such a different experience. It's so cool. All right, meet you down there in the comments. See you next week in a new video. I'll be back. Bye-bye.